What do you mean Lois will not be going with you? Um, she booked a last minute appointment with some art gallery. I think it has everything to do with her catering job. Ah. Yeah. You mean your wife won't be going with you to a reunion party where your ex will be? <sighs> Who does that, bro? Basil, there's nothing to worry about. Listen, I'm going to go there, catch up with Vin, have a couple of drinks and we both go back to our scheduled lives. Really? Yeah. Uh, if you say so. Ah, that reminds me. Yeah. Like you rightly said, mm -hmm. her husband will be there, right? Uh, so that will help you stay out of trouble and nostalgia. No. She texted me and said her husband won't be coming, so yeah. Avalon, are you being serious? What? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? You are asking me what I what do I mean? <laughs> anyway, let me remind you that by the time Lois throws you out of her father's property, there will be no room available for you in my <laughs> crib. Bro, come on, don't be funny. I promise to be careful, bro. <laughs> okay, you be let's, careful. Let's head up. I promise to be careful, man. Oh man, so oh. Um, God, you haven't changed. Such a long time. I'm excited to see you again. Me too. <laughs> you see, in high school, you were so beautiful. You dressed seductively, <laughs> kid. Oh, come on. I'm happy to see you in flesh and not just on social media. You look good yourself. Thanks for the compliments. I mean, look more charming than high school. Let's get more drink and toast to a word of the alumni of the year. Waiter! Wait. Waiter! Bo, it's, uh, it's pretty much amazing to see you again after all these years. Where the hell did you go? Well, I traveled overseas, oh. taking photograph assignments here and there, touring the globe. While you were here paving way for yourself in your political world, just as you said you would. <laughs> well, that's true. And look at you. I mean, I suppose you have seen the world just as you said you would. Yeah, because I... <laughs> I, I thought you uh, vanished. You never texted, you never called. You just ghosted. That was your fault. It was your fault. Because you refused traveling with me. Vicentia, I couldn't have traveled with you. I mean, I gained admission to, you know, into law school. So I had to go to law school. Uh, you know, you are not as free-spirited as I am. I do what my air sign do. Being a Gemini, I just follow my mind and when I see fire I blow at it because fire needs air to keep burning and probably some water to to quench burning 
<laughs> hey. Uh, I'm fine, as you can see. And you? You good? I'm doing great. Oh, that's good. Ah, I can see you're enjoying yourself. Doing what you love and know how to do best. <laughs> yes. You did not go to the alumni get together with them. Ah, uh, no, it's not for me. Uh, it's just for members of his department, not for the whole school anyway. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Ah. Uh, I uh, I came to check up on you mm -hmm. and to make sure everything is fine. Oh, my day has been absolutely amazing. It's been going on well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so have you caught my friend, your husband? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We haven't really spoken today. Oh, why not? We should. Yeah. But the news of his successful conviction of the district crime law is on air. Mm -hmm. And people have been sending congratulatory messages, you know. Okay. You should call him to check on him. Especially from the congratulations from the women folk. You have to make sure they're not alluring. <laughs> Say, listen to me, you are a very beautiful woman. And your husband, very handsome man. You must learn how to mark your territory to avoid inversion, you know. Sir, tell me. I never crossed your mind all these years. You never thought about looking for me. Hmm? <coughs> um, of, of course I, I, I thought about it. I mean, you crossed my mind a couple of times. I mean, to think that I haven't seen you in a while and uh, of course I thought about you. I thought about you too. I missed you. After all, you never forget your first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you used to be my first. But that's right. Um, so, uh, let's toast to first love, like you said. First love. Yeah. <laughs> and the best love. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I have to take this call. Take your time. Sorry. Hey, honey. Hi. Hi, sugar. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Honey, they loved everything. Like the luncheon was amazing. From the buffet to the appetizer and the main dish, everybody was just talking about it. Oh, babe, I'm excited. I'm glad to hear it went well. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and guess what, honey? They promised to give me more catering jobs at their art gallery. Oh, that's, that's good, babe. Your, your food is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, honey. And I cannot wait to tell you everything in details. Babe, I can't wait to hear it. But it has to be when I get back home, okay? I have to go now. All right, I love you. Sorry about that. No, oh, it's fine. I guess it's your wife checking on you. Oh yes, my wife called me. Uh, so, where were we? I guess I was about telling you that you were my best. <laughs> mm. Was I? You've always been. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. 
So, um, what is it? Oh, nothing. We're done talking. Oh, no, you're not done talking. Okay? <sighs> you know, maybe someone out there is trying to distract him. A lot of people want to associate with success. But you are his wife. So you should spend more time with him on the phone. Call him again. Call him. He's your husband. <laughs> I'll just call him later. Yes, later. He he might just be busy. Okay. Yes. That's so a good um, one. I was actually going to. Uh, uh, let me get you something oh. since we're here already. Uh, no, 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 let me just see you. Okay. Oh. I'm in a hurry. Okay. Uh, my friend's wife. Off. That bastard! After everything I did for him. I clothed him, I sheltered him, I feed him, I also gave him my daughter for a wife. And now he wants to embarrass me? Dad, please. It has not been proven that he cheats on me or he cheated on me. These things are just mere imaginations born out of Basil's insinuation. So you are waiting for him to cheat before you can react on it? Basil would not have made such insinuation if he had no proof. He's the one that saw the skeletal possibility of your husband cheating before he came to tell us. Okay, so I should leave my marriage. I should divorce him. Is that it? You will do no such thing. You want the dailies and social media to carry the news and ruin my political ambition. Dad, what has your political ambition got to do with me filing for a divorce based on infidelity? It has got a lot to do with it. It means that I cannot care for my home. It means I did not train my child well. Because he can grant an interview that can exonerate him. It means I am not capable to handle common conflict. It means... Oh, that, please. Please, please, please. Let me handle my marriage the way I should. What is this? It means, it means, it means... Please, I'm tired. Could this be a dilemma? The devil cannot use my daughter against me. Never. Anything for an old friend, right? Sure. Oh, great. So, Vin, I have to go. Uh, I enjoyed my time with you. So, take care, yeah? See you some other time. <laughs> have lunch? Yeah. Yeah? Hmm. Hey. Hey, stop. I'm married. I told you. Yeah, but we can do whatever we want, right? Um, mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Mm, mm, mm. Come in. Oh.
What am I doing here? Fuck. Listen, don't come close to me. You were insatiable last night. What? I guess you want more, right? Hmm? Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Listen, I have to go home. Now! Why? Come on. Just stay in bed and rest. Hmm? Vin, nothing happened between us. This never happened. Oh, come on. I will be so glad to refresh your memory. Stop it! This was a mistake. I have to go. Listen, I have to go to my wife. And you should go to your husband, now! Look, Avila, we're no longer in school. We are two consenting adults. <laughs> Nobody has to know about us. What? Us? There is no us! Never! You know, you're sounding way different than you sounded last night. So romantic and loving. You're mad. Listen, I'm going back to my wife. You should go back to your husband! Leave me alone! This never happened! And you're just coming back home to see your wife. Avalon, what responsible man does that? Lois, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand what I'm talking about? Really? Avalon, I hope that reunion of yours wasn't an avenue for you to go see other women. Who's been talking to you? Are you accusing me of something? My love, I'm sorry. I really am. It's just that you're not coming back home. I was paranoid. Please, I'm sorry. I'm not accusing you of anything. No responsible man goes out and sleeps out. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. All right, let me go make something for you to eat. Under the section 408 of the Nigerian Criminal Code. Okay, thank you. Basil, what the hell is wrong with you? It's been two weeks. The documents are not ready. There's no need for second locution around here. Just tell me when the documents will be ready. Listen to me. There's no need for circumlocution around here, okay? Hey, come on. Come on, bro. You shouldn't be hard on me like that, okay? I need some rest. Oh, is it because you won the biggest case of your career two weeks ago? 
Let me breathe, okay? Basil, putting Mark Smith away was just the first step. And I'm very excited about it. And if you must know, justice never sleeps. All right? So get your ass up and do your job. Well, it's all good. I'm doing it, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, my legal luminary and my legal advisor on political matters. You're welcome, sir. I've not come to see my son-in-law. I have come to see Barrister Avalon Wokedi, the ace prosecutor of crime and the carrier of good justice. I'm very humbled, sir. Mm. Well, how about being the district attorney when I become the representative of our zone at the lower chamber of the legislature where are this federation? I'll, I'll be very delighted, sir. Good. We'll be having lunch with the governor today or maybe drink at the golf club. Um, anything you say, sir. Very well then. See you later. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's your father in law. Very pompous man. He has pride. Every day I'll be greeting him. He'll be acting as if he's not seeing me, as if I'm invisible. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Edwards is a good man. So watch your mouth. I gave him an offer, and I'm sure he'll take it. We'll be having drink with His Excellency this evening. We can actually buy him over from there. One step at a time, Honorable Sir. I can always count on you because, just like your mother, you are a schemer. Daddy, stop it. We have the key. <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, help okay. Him. <laughs> Hey, what is it? What's the problem? Nothing. Come on, man. Don't give me that crap, okay? I can see it. I mean, the look on your face shows there's something wrong, so spill it out. What is it? Do you remember the night I attended my college reunion? Mm, of course I do. I remember I told you not to go because your ex will be there. A lot happened that night. So I, I had so much to drink and to cut a long story short, I found myself in Vicentia's hotel room. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> how do you mean you don't know how you got there? How? I said it was a, it was, it was a blurry night. I can't remember a single thing. Damn. You should have told me. Wait a minute. Uh, does Lois know you slept with Vicentia? Come on, Basil. You don't expect me to break her heart with such episode? Well, <laughs> I beg of you, okay? Do everything humanly possible to make sure Emelda doesn't know what happened. Of course I can't do that. She's going to kill me. Somebody know. As for the censure, this is what we're going to do. You are going to state the rules to her. Whatsoever happens at the reunion, 
gets buried at the reunion period. Get my back from the car. Okay. Do you want to come? No, I'll wait for you here. Timing my return. Timing your return? Yeah. I mean, what are we celebrating? This is a special meal for the best husband in the world. Aww. Hmm. Thank you, my darling. I love you. I love you more. Okay, so how about we skip the meal and go straight to dessert? <laughs> Maybe, hold on. What? Please. Why don't I give you the news flash? And what's the news flash? Hmm. <laughs> You see your beautiful wife. Yeah. Your queen. Mm hmm I know. This queen. Of course I know you're a queen. She just got hired to cater for an event this weekend. Really? Oh yes. Wow. Baby, are you serious? I'm very serious. <gasps> Congratulations, my queen. Thank you, honey. Mm. Mm. I love you so much. I love you more. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know, all thanks to you, because if I hadn't missed that reunion, right. I wouldn't have gotten this job. You know, the job I did while you were away mm -hmm. gave birth to this one. Uh, listen, mm, I'm proud of you. I'm always proud of you. Thank you. I'll do anything for you. Why are you being all emotional? I'm just excited. I mean... All of your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Would you do anything for me? Of course. All right, follow me. Get up. <laughs> Just follow me. Just follow me. Okay. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> I have something to tell you. When I went for the university reunion party, I... Babe. Hey, hey, hey! Oh! I see my friend is stepping out without informing me. Huh? My guy! <laughs> I should have known! Oh, my guy is into courtship with another woman. I see. No wonder! No wonder you don't want to carry me along. Huh? Basil, you have the wrong information. I'm actually going to pay my wife a surprise visit. 
she's catering at uh, a company in town. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I don't. You're skipping lunch with me, yet you have a bunch of flour in your hand. Anyways, say me hi to Lois. Really? Mm. Alright, how about you do that yourself, face to face? You really want me to come? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Hey, let me tell you. So I'm going there. You know you like hookups. You would find pretty girls there. Yeah, food and drinks. Mm. And guess what? You know you don't like to buy drinks. You're waiting for me to buy for you. Trust me. Free drinks, free food, free women. You like to complain about the economic situation of the country. You'll find some there if you come with me. I don't want to find some. I want to find many. Let's go. <laughs> Concept. A wonderful way to attract the eyes to a welcome. This picture is hot. Damn. I wonder who could be the model of the picture. It's lucky to have enjoyed this beautiful feminine skin all along. No, 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 no. This is actually a puzzle I need to unscramble. This is photography. A branch of graphic design. I see. This is amazing. And this is a more distinct computerized kind of art. Photoshop. Interesting. Mm. Now, this is a rose. Huh? This is amazing. Beautiful. Right? I love this. Yes. <laughs> How? Oh, Essentially, you're such an amazing artist. Thank you. Oh, hi, honey. Hey, Can babe. Tell me you were coming. Oh, mm. surprise! See you. I wanted to surprise me, love. Mm. Mm. There you go. Flowers. This is sweet. Yeah. You Thank like you. It? Of course, I do. All right. You okay. <clears throat> oh yes, baby. Yeah. This is Vicentia. She's the artist, come photographer of all the amazing artwork. And also the owner of V Magazines. Yes. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. Um, Vicentia, this is my husband, Avalon Wokedi. Right. And that's his friend also and brother, Basio. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is a great piece of work you got here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll feed my eyes. Oh, sure. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Avalon. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Have I seen you anywhere? Um, I don't think so. Are you sure we've not met before? I can't recall. Ah, 
My husband's face is just all over the place ever since he won the Max Smith Otumba's trial. Absolutely. Yes, a few weeks ago. Oh, maybe. Uh, probably someone must have emasculated himself to be who he truly is not. Mm. By that, making himself look like you, so I mistook him for you. That happens always, like every time. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your wife? Is an amazing chef. Please. Everyone was raving about her food. Uh, yeah, uh, right, right. That's why I'm very proud of her. You see, the wife I married is good at everything she does. <laughs> You're a very lucky man. I know. Baby? Yeah. Why don't you go nowhere bassin? Yeah, this? I'll just, right? uh, all right, take care. I love my husband. I know. I, I can see that. Yes. So, uh, yes. Back to the rooms. Yes, back to the rooms. <laughs> so, um, you know, when... Honey? Yeah? Did you see Vicentia's photos? Yes, I did. You know, she calls those photos her most personal works. And those photos, they speak volume. Really? Oh, yes. You know, I've been trying to get her to tell me who the man in the picture is. Uh, Did she? No, she didn't. She says it's her little secret of discretion. What do you have to say about that? Babe, aren't you ready to go home? No. Let's stay a little bit longer. Please. I can see you both are... Uh getting along oh yes we are she has got an amazing personality i love her vibe superb you know honey it's so much fun to feel a little outdoor simulation embellished with artistry tell me what do you have to say about her gallery her gallery is top notch vicentia owned this place Oh yes, she owns everywhere. She renovated the Louvre. Guess what, honey? She loves my cooking. And she has given me another contract, making it the third time. <laughs> third time? Oh yes. I thought it was the first. No, my first, no. Honey, she was the one who contacted me via social media to prepare, you know, the luncheon during your school reunion. She was the one who gave me that contract. It's not a coincidence after all. What's not a coincidence? Honey? Hmm? You just said that's not a coincidence after oh, all. Oh, I said let's go home. Oh, let's go. You really want us to go home?
No matter what happens, this nonsense ends tonight.
Baby. Baby. What the hell are you doing with my wife? You are so photogenic, Avalon. What in God's name are you doing with my wife? She's a talented caterer. And I needed her for the shows. Plus, she's good for the job. <laughs> You need to stop. Right now! I've been trying to reach you so that we can talk. Did you get my messages? Vicentia, you need to stop all of that. Stay the hell away from my wife. You need to stop. Right now! Stop the text messages! Stop the calls! Stop the voice notes! What about us? What? What about everything we shared? Even before your wife? What about us, Avalon? Hmm? Finn. You're totally out of your mind. You're totally out of control. There was no us. There is no us. There will never be us. That is where you got it wrong. That is certainly where you got it wrong. I'm pregnant with our baby. <laughs> So you see, we are going to be a family. Baby. Daddy.
Vicentia. Oh? You can't be pregnant. I saw the used condoms. Oh yes. The first time. As for the second time, I think we both were a little too cut up. And what makes you think the child is mine? Avalon, you are the only man I have been with. What stupid games are you trying to play? You're trying to ruin my life, aren't you? No. How can I ruin your life, sweetheart? I am trying to plan for a very beautiful future for us, honey. What about your husband? That one. He cheated on me. And he left me. And now, you have cheated on your wife. And you are going to leave her and come to me. That makes us Equal, right? <laughs> Vin. Mm? His phone is in the house. <laughs> I I can't tell anything about his whereabouts. I I cannot. Okay, um, should I call the police? Do I call them? I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't. No, 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 just hold your peace. Hold your peace. If he does not return, then I'll take it up from there. Yes. Just go to your room. Hold your peace. Calm down. Okay? Please. That's my daughter. Let it not be that someone else has outsmarted me to lay hold on him. I must do something. Hello? Yeah, I could be okay. Yes, I have to make this call to you. Hold on, please. Okay, baby, here. Take drink water oh. so you calm down. Oh. What happened? Babe, hey, I love you so much. I love you more. I have something to tell you. <laughs> baby, please, whatever it is can wait. We'll talk about it while in bed, okay? I'll run the water for you so you take your bath, alright? Follow me, please. What happened to you? Baby, please come. Babe, are you not done? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You know I woke up to make love to my husband. 
only to realize that he's nowhere to be found. A whole lot of things went through my mind, but seeing you walking through that door, I realized that you're stressed and you need rest. Oh, babe, I'm just... Shh. Babe, make love to me. What? Yes. You know, we can ease each other's stress. Please. Babe, I... Hey, um... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Your heartbeat is not stable. Let me make it stable for you. Okay, I don't, don't worry, <sighs> I'll do it. I don't need you going up. Just stay here. Hey, First, I put you in my plans. And afterwards, your life will be overturned. Whatever Vincentia wants, she gets. And if she cannot get, She destroys. I am a winner. I never lose. Instead I lose. Everybody loses. And to my rivals. Losing is just a double loss. For me, I am glad nobody won. What a reward. A pleasurable one at that. Watching people go through the pains of losing. We need to talk. My hero, we can always talk about anything tomorrow. Right now, I want to sleep. And I want to enjoy the satisfaction that you just gave me. Please. Baby, it's important. Baby, what's more important now is for you to cuddle me. And we sleep. Okay? It's all right. Asking you, boy, what responsible man will leave his family in such unholy hour of the night? So I'm very sorry about that. I had an emergency, I had to return to it. Attend to personal situations, you say, without ensuring the safety of your family first? What responsible man does that? 
My apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Well, I believe you are dating another woman or you have joined my political rivals and you are now having meetings, night meetings with them. That explains it. Uh, no. Sir, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Now, let me remind you. I clothed you in your school days. I made your miserable life meaningful. To pay me back for my magnanimity, you deceived my daughter and seduced her into getting pregnant for you. In a bid not to ruin the reputation I built over the years, I allowed you to marry her and gave you shelter. Avalon, everything you have, I gave you. Dad, is that why you are here? Oh, shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Now listen, this house is mine and I'm giving a standing order. Immediately it is 8 p.m. Nobody comes in or goes out of this house. And Avalon, if you dare disobey this order, not only will I throw you out of this house, but I will ensure that your license for legal practice is seized. Did I make myself clear? Do not say I didn't warn you. You better join my party. Isn't it obvious your father came all the way to rub my woes out my face? I, I am sorry, honey. I didn't know it would get to this. I only called my father because I was worried about you. I was scared that something must have, must have happened to you. And I'm sorry. I didn't know he was going to come here and, and try to make you feel less. Please, please forgive me. My mistake is just loving you so much. So what case are we tackling this time? This conversation is strictly confidential. It is very private. It is not tied to any case. It must be kept between us. Understood? Interesting. I pledge to discreet approach. I'm listening. Take a look at that. Vincentia Kuzua. Right. Few details about her in my possession. I want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find. Like I said, this should be between us. I heard you the first time. Good. Do you know if she's dangerous? Honestly, I, I have no idea. I don't know. The reason I want you to run a check on her and tell me what you can find, but you have to be very discreet about it. 
careful and stay safe. Okay. Did you sleep with her? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I already know. Sorry. Listen, just do what you have to do. Figure out what she's planning and let me know. So, two words of advice for you. Learn how to stay faithful in your marriage. And secondly, I think you should tell your wife about everything. think to come to climb here you must join the clique of men that controls power um, I guess my coming was timely sir sit down let's get straight to the point thank you sir I'm going to fix another appointment with the governor and you must ensure that we get the governor's endorsement and that of the party chairman. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to beat the loser at the polls, sir. We are not beating anybody. We are going to win on a landslide victory and the person we are going to use to achieve that is you. That's fine, sir. But I hate to lose. The governor will proceed to the House of Senate and I, the House of Reps. When we get there, we right all wrongs. Grant Max Mito Tumba amnesty and that's it. <clears throat> that's fine, sir. I understand the puzzles of the game. Quite interesting. You have made so much impact in the legal field over the years. You have won the toughest cases. On which hand you have mastered the politics of the state. So you see, you need to make a logical choice in your career. To step up, make all the money you want and have the government protect you. Thank you very much, sir. And um, I must appreciate you and thank you immensely for having faith in me. I promise not to fail you. Let me remind you, when you climb the top spot, you have the bull's eyes painted on your back. In the game of politics, sometimes it is tough to know the good guy from the bad guy. So you need to be careful. I'll do my best, sir. Now listen and listen good. You must not have any skeleton in your closet. Because when we bring you to the fold, if we find out that your slate is not clean, you are as good as dead. And I don't want to begin to regret being instrumental to making my dear daughter, Lois, widowed by your own mistakes. Um, quite understood, sir. Um, this is my cue to leave. I have to attend to other things at the office. Okay. See you. Thank you for your time, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello. 
Hi. Hi. You're on my way. I need to get into my car. My name is Mirabel. And you are? Um. Oh, my name is Avalon. Nice to meet you. I need to get into my car. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get in my car. It's okay. Hey, get out! You're my way! Move away! What's your findings? I pulled a copy of Essentials Hotel Receipts from the reunion. And when I ran a check on it, it turned out to be fake. No such address exists. So why didn't the, the hotel flag a fake address when they ran the credit card during the time of payment? Another interesting question to ask. Harun was prepared with a credit card from DCC Enterprises. Very interesting. How would a third party Pay her bills at the reunion party. You tell me. You went to the same school with her. Apparently, it was my first time of seeing her after graduation. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something. Which is? I'll keep digging. You know you were right. I should tell my wife everything. Good luck with that, Mr. Avalon Mokade. I'll be in my office. So happy for you. Please tell me when did you find out? Say two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband is back. Hey, baby. <laughs> I am going to tell my husband. Sure. <laughs> baby, how are you? How was your day? Mama, was it okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm, I missed you, Vicencia. I'm so. Baby, sit down. Let me tell you something. Vicencia here told me that she's pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant for who? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Avalon. <laughs> I am so blessed. <laughs> I mean, a baby on the way, a new arts gallery, an awesome business partner. <laughs> Coming back to this country is the best thing I did. <laughs> okay, you see, this calls for celebration. 
Right? I am going to get champagne for the newest mama in town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, one minute. I just realized I have another appointment in town oh. and I need to leave now okay. because of the traffic, you know, and my car is at a mechanic, but here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes that's true. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Here. Cool. Go check. Thank you so much, Miss Asia. Oh, you know, I'm really excited about the new event we're going to be having soon. <laughs> and I cannot wait. Vicentia, I've been writing down amazing menu suggestions. You can't believe it. That will be wonderful. <laughs> um, I hope you don't mind. My husband can drop you nope, off. Nope, I, I can't do that. Oh, uh, that would be nice. I would appreciate. <laughs> no, no, my car refused to start earlier. Maybe. Yeah, I can't. Baby, please, um, you know, he's going to do it. Thank you. All right, baby. Bye. Congratulations once again. Thank I really you. Do. Thank you oh so God. much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And you know, for, for us to plan ahead for the next catering event. And to also see my man. Vicentia. Hmm? Whatever happened between us was a mistake. Do you understand? Stay the hell away from my family. I'm not playing games with you. Come on, baby. Stop acting like you do not have feelings for me anymore. Because mm? you know that lies cannot come between us. And I know you still want me. Just the way my honey pot for your sticky spoon. Listen, you can even have me in your car if you don't mind. You have gone stark raving mad. Oh yes, yes I have. Anything to get you back to me. Anything. Anything, sugar. Get down. Get off my car! I know you want to have me in your car. Let's try it. I mean, yes, quiet. Get out! Thinking of suicide? Depends on what you mean. <sighs> Vincentia never graduated from the university. Yeah, I mean... I think she didn't graduate because her father was sick. It 
was an emergency, so she left school to attend to her sick dad. Maybe that's what she told you. But according to her transcript, she never graduated. In fact, the school asked her to leave. Are you kidding me? Your girl was busy writing bad checks to the school and all her sworn affidavits were lies. When the school found out, they dismissed her. They asked her to leave and promised not to press charges. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I wish I was kidding. After her university scam, she pretty much fell off the radar and she was out of this planet. Yeah, I remember she said she traveled abroad to focus on her photography and I guess that's why you didn't find anything about her. I don't care. I don't care what she told you, Mr. Avalon. Listen, she's still a citizen of this country and should have bank records, address and national identification number. Of course. You're right. Check this out. What? Vicentia has been to jail? Your ex-girlfriend was caught up in a scam in Abuja. And just about when the judges wanted to press charges, a call was made through and um, the charges were reduced. Vicentia's charges were reduced? By reduced, I mean dropped. Wait. Who the hell made the call? Exactly my point. I'm still trying to figure it out. Why do I feel there's more bad news? <sighs> Another thing I found out. Her name is currently listed as one of the owners of DCC Enterprises. <sighs> An art gallery space she inherited three months ago. But this woman does not have any bank record. No, um, no tax records, nothing. The question is, how was she able to rent an art gallery without any financial record. Vincentia is a crafty woman and she knows her ways around her ploys. I ran a check and I found out that she took over the gallery space and she's running it in the name of DCC Enterprises. Did you say DCC Enterprises? Wait, the same company that paid her hotel bills during our reunion. The same company name on the check Vicentia gave my wife. Who the hell is DCC Enterprises? I'm still trying to figure it out. But whoever it is, they're trying to hide themselves. But not to worry. There must be a way out. Tasha, you're doing a great job, but you have to keep digging. All right? Because I'm not about to let this devil ruin my family and everything I have worked for. Do you understand? Yes, boss, I do. Good.
係如果睇斷唔係佢。All that question does not matter. That young man in there is my brother-in-law. Stay away from him. If you try to destroy his home, you will have me to contend with. Idiot. I know what I saw. I even had to accost the lady myself. Imelda, what did my husband and I ever do to you and daddy? Avalon did everything. Can't you see it? Your husband is a womanizer. He's a cheat. He is everything bad. Get that. And I know that is why he got you through his selfish century drama and you followed him. Can't you see it? If you're not careful, he is going to bring another woman to your home. Imelda, I trust my husband. He will do no such thing. Oh, you trust your husband. Wait, let me shock you. Is this not your husband? Mm-hmm. Is this not your husband hugging a woman in front of a hotel? Is this? Oh. <laughs> Maybe this is now his office, his new office. Imelda, what were you doing in a hotel yourself? Is that your office? Um, well, I, I actually went there to see a friend. I went to negotiate business with my friend, yes? Same thing my husband went to do. To see a client. To talk about his business. That's it. Imelda, please, I beg you. You are my sister. Do not try. Please don't try to cross the lane to a being a marriage counselor. Are you okay? You were in a hotel. You met him in a hotel. He was in a hotel too. What were you doing? Is that your office? No, that's not his office. You both went to. See we are talking about your. Hey, babe. Hi. You okay? I, yeah, I'm fine. I miss you. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I was on my way to go pick up. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi. Um, Avalon, <laughs> where else did you go to today? Aside your office. Oh, really? I know that look. <laughs> That's the look you get when a cheat is on a hot seat. Imelda, my husband is not on a hot seat. He's not. Babe, it's okay. Um, can I get some water to drink? Of course. All right. I'll be right back. All right, babe. Listen, you know what your problem is? Do you know why you're not yet married? I mean, doesn't it bother you? I'll tell you why. Because you don't mind your business. You have no respect for people's privacy. You talk too much. You're very flippant. Men don't like women who talk too much. And I can sense that you don't know how to treat a man. Which explains why your sister, your younger sister got married before you. I'll tell you what to do. You need to change. You need to rebrand your character. You need to work on yourself. Because you're getting old. You're not getting any younger. Doesn't that bother you that as pretty as you are, men don't say hello to you? I'm very, very worried for you. Listen to me. Like I said, you need to work on yourself. You need to change, you need to switch. You need to think about having kids because your biological clock is ticking. I'm sure you don't want to hit menopause. Think about it. Cheat? No, you're talking to me. You're talking to me. 
Cheat! You're talking to me! <laughs> I'll so deal with you, don't worry. but don't go close to it. Don't go close to it. Follow the car, but don't drive too close to it. Don't lose it. Okay, okay, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down a bit. the car but don't go close to it behind the car but don't lose it now you have lost it I'm sorry I'm sorry you're sorry what do you mean you're sorry I told you drive behind the car but don't lose it what do you want me to do now Vicentia, what the hell are you up to? Mind your business. Mind my business? Vicentia, my business is stay the hell away from my life and that of my family. I want a pound of flesh. And a pound of flesh I shall get. Sink down. Check this out. Basil. 
I'm not ready to see any social media updates right now. Hey, come on, trust me. You need to see this. What okay? is it? Your girlfriend. She's pregnant. She announced it on social media. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. No? Come on, what's going on? I thought you said she's married. How come our status is showing complicated? Basil, I'm not ready to have this conversation. Besides, I'm busy. Is there something you're not telling me? First, you met your ex who's supposed to be married. And secondly, she started sex chatting you, sending you nude videos. Thirdly, all of a sudden she's no longer married and now she's expecting a baby. What's going on? Nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Bro, you're my best friend, okay? I know when something is happening, when something is going on. But if you decide to keep it to yourself, no problem, okay? I'm good. So tell me, how long have you been a photographer? Mm -hmm. I started shooting in college. My boyfriend was my first subject. Your boyfriend? That sounds scintillating. Do you guys still keep in touch? Uh, we haven't seen in years. But recently, we reconnected on social media. You are so lucky to have such a wonderful husband. <laughs> Thank you. Avalon is my soulmate. He's an amazing husband. He is so supporting and successful at the same time. Thank you. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your boyfriend saying about your pregnancy? Oh, Vicentia, please. I am, I am sorry. I am sorry. I didn't mean to pry. Trust me. Please. I didn't mean that. It's not that actually. What is it then? In addition to eating everything in sight these days, I have been miserably emotional these days. Vicentia, I understand. Hormones can be all over the place, especially during your first trimester. It's not that actually. Then what is it, my friend? Please tell me. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Oh, God. It's okay, I'm listening. Just go ahead. I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't want you to hate me. Hate you? How can I hate you? Why, why should I hate you? You have been a good friend. You are a sweetheart. And please allow me to help you. Tell me, what is it? Please don't judge me. The father of my baby is married. Okay. okay. Married. What's he saying about the baby and... What about his wife? Oh, that. He said he loves me. And he wants to leave his wife to be with me. They haven't been happy in years. He said the passion died. But he's just been sticking around her to buy time. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. You know, everything will work out accordingly in the end. Okay? What's, um... All you need to do now, Vicentia, is to take care of yourself and your child. That's paramount. Alright? You're such a good friend. Since I got back to this country, I haven't been really lucky to meet lots of people. But... I am happy to have you. Thank you. Um, 
So tell me, what what are you going to do about the pregnancy? What's what's he saying? He's leaving me with no choice. I'm going to tell him to choose between she or I. Any findings for me? Yes. Check the results. What's the update? I stopped by the leasing company that Vincentia rented the gallery art space from. Mm -hmm. I found out that she has paid for a full year upfront, but this time with the cashier check from the DCC Enterprise, drawn from the Big Wig Bank of Industries accounts. <sighs> Good job. Can we get access to bank details? bank accounts and stuff like that yes of course All that right. will be my next stop tomorrow we have to there's a, there should there should be a name somewhere on the list we have to find who has been making all these payments all right this is quite impressive keep me updated don't take your food off the gas all right i will boss okay. um boss have you told your wife about it i'll see you tomorrow um mr avalon yeah Forgiveness is always a dependent in your confession. Avalon, I am really, really grateful to God that I have you. I am. You are? Yes. I mean, I mean, I'm grateful to God that I have you too. You see, Vicentia was here. And she was telling me the story of uh, the father of her baby being an unhappily married stupid man. Um, you mean she told you that? Oh, yes. She told you she's, she's having an affair with a married man? Yes, she did. She's having an affair with a married man and she's actually waiting for the man to leave the wife. According to her, she said the man said that there is no more passion in his marriage. So he wants to leave the wife. And I'm sure that woman doesn't know anything concerning this. Babe? That sounds like a terrible situation. Yes, it is, though. It is. Because you should see her talk. She's really in love with that man. Babe, um, don't you think you're getting too involved in this woman's life? I mean, I don't want you getting wrapped up in all of her drama before you relaunch your career, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... You feel like what? 
Vicentia has been of a tremendous help to me. In fact, because of her, my social media followers has grown. Even my financial state is, is, is okay now. You, you can testify to that. All of that happened because you are good at what you do. You are an amazing chef. You don't need her. Baby is a little bit too late for that because I already signed a contract with her. Like, she hopes her art gallery becomes successful so she can take care of herself and the baby. You know. Well, you don't know, but I know that she does not have a man like you by her side. You know, a patient, understanding, successful man. So that's it. So did she tell you what she intends to do about her child's father? <clears throat> well, she said she's going to give the man an ultimatum. It's either her and the baby, or she's going to go tell the wife of the man. <clears throat> it's really funny because that man is a stupid man. Very, very stupid and silly. Instead of him to look for ways to, you know, make the marriage okay, maybe take his wife out on a vacation, maybe buy her stuff, bring her flowers, or probably sit her down and talk. Maybe they've sat down together and spoken before. But he's supposed to do more. Everything my father is doing is geared towards making you a better person of great influence. Right. Yes. And anything better than money is more money. Right. Yes. So that you can climb higher. I'll, I'll try my, my best to make him happy. But your dad can be difficult sometimes, you know? It's okay, I'll do my best. Okay. You be good. Be a good boy and make sure you guide my territory. <laughs> my mother's a good boy. Listen, I have to run along. Um, the meeting with the governor is a long one, so I'll be back tomorrow. No problem, I'll come around if necessary. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Mm. You take care. Hey, okay. I have to go. You be good? Mm? See, take care of your mom, all right? Will you? Right. No. Bye. All right. Let's go. Come on, babe. Come on. I will send you the room number, okay? That's my girl. Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'll see you there. Bye. What's with that look? We are out here to enjoy ourselves, okay? And to take advantage already. So drink up. Basil, um, 
I apologize for my silence. I'm just, uh, just a bit worried, you know. I've got, I've got so much on my mind, and I'm afraid. I, I, I don't want my family to tear apart. I understand you, bro. Just calm down, okay? Everything will take shape. Yeah, sooner or later, everything will take shape, okay? What do you think, Father? Everybody has a price. But I don't trust him. Rather, you don't like him. Exactly. You don't need to dislike him. He's our tool. A good workman must not quarrel with his tool. But father, why, why did he come with a company if he really trusts us? That should be the least of your problem. You just use him for politics and that is it. The governor is here. Oh. Let's go meet him. Very stable and work people. Meet the number one citizen of our dear state. His Excellency, Dr. Osinaka Mbadunubu. Your Excellency, yes, sir. sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I've heard so much about you. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. You look good and reserved. I hope your charming smiles and comportment will not be a decoy. Um, Your Excellency, I'm just being myself. You know, politics is a big business. And the political sphere is entirely a different world altogether. Can you swim the tide? Your Excellency, I think uh, Barrister Mokedu will make a wonderful special assistant to the party and also pass for the secretary to the state government after the elections. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. But you know, such appointment requires a lot of hard work. It's multiple tasking. And it demands someone with high flexibility. Your Excellency, I think Barrister Wokedu is equal to the challenge, considering the antecedent of his uh, achievement. I hope you consider giving him your endorsement. Hmm. Hmm. Keep your nose clean, boy. The job is yours. Your Excellency, you don't necessarily need to bother about his uh, allegiance. He's a very terrible boy. A loyalist, I must say. That's all I want to hear. But you have to play your card well. And if you do, from glory to glory, 
you will rise to the office of the governor of the state. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Your Excellency. I'll be very delighted to serve the state sometime in the future, Your Excellency. That's good. That's all right. Mr. Edward, Your Excellency, please send him in. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, sir. Speaking to the next governor of the state. By the grace of God! <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah! Bro! Don't forget me. Whoa! Damn, bro! Sound like a dumb deal! Congratulations to the next SSG of the state! <laughs> I must tell you, bro. Mm. It's not done until it's done. This has always been the plan. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. You're damn right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you see? Perfect life. Perfect wife. You got a ward in your hands, bro. Damn, I envy you. <laughs> Basil. You can be like me. You can have the same thing. Life is what you make of it. Yeah. No. My case is different. I have worked so hard, struggled to get the accolades and congratulations, but to no avail. I mean, people don't even see me the way they see you. You're like a god in human form. Yes, you are. Basil, you're wrong. Listen, maybe you've been playing the game, but not by the rules. Whatever we do in life, we do it to make positive results. You have to keep pushing, bro. Listen, life is not fair. Life is not fair, but you have to keep pushing. You have to be consistent. <laughs> Congratulations. Everything about your success story is happening so fast. But be careful while climbing the ladder because you may miss your steps, fall, and break your bones. I may be working with you for assistance. <laughs> 